DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. beautiful people welcome back to another episode of noted your walking talking flavor reviews my name is emily also known as mill nikon and please say hello to my other co-hosts we've got chiba steba and id 10 t how you boys doing tonight oh doing pretty darn good loving me some tobaccos how you doing over there dave i am happy and excited <laughs> happy yes. because i'm enjoying my um recipe that i mixed up on saturday the banana grandma which is a tobacco mm. recipe and i'm excited because it's gonna be the best show we've had all year yeah yeah that's <laughs> easily one of the better shows in my opinion anyway emily might disagree <laughs> poor emily go beckys it is probably gonna <laughs> devolve into a clavora infomercial but what are you gonna do yeah, it may just, but, uh, you know, rightfully so. There's got to be, uh, you know, a top dog amongst the bunch. But uh, there's there's some other good ones, too. I've got a few other uh, one. Cool. <laughs> Before we get into that, um, we have Matt Jones, also known as Chemical Burn Victim, the tobacco guy. And uh, he has a couple of sick kids at home, so he can't stay all night. So we're going to let him get into some things that we I haven't tried. I, you probably haven't tried them either, but he has. So we can oh. talk about it. We'll get into those. And then we also have fear. This All right. Fear. Howdy, howdy, howdy. This is I the best recipe. This is the best episode of the year just for that voice. I know, right? <laughs> Glorious <It's like> beard. <laughs> yeah. And Jerry. Hello. Hey, how's it going, hey, Jerry? Welcome, guys. It's going uh, thanks for joining us, Jerry. Yeah, I wanted to do this show, but then I said basically get these two people on because I learned everything from them. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're both planning on coming back next week when we do European tobacco brands, right? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay. American tobacco brands. Yeah, today we're talking about American tobacco brands. So what is that? Entail? Matt said he wanted... This is your brands. We, we, you know, last time we tried aromatic, non-aromatic, and additives. This time we're doing three weeks of tobaccos, trying to do American brands, European brands, and um, Asian brands. Next year we'll find an even better way to divide them up. But for this, <laughs> th for this, we're just looking at American manufacturers. And um, Matt has tried Flavor Revolution tobaccos. I've never tried them. He flavor wanted to talk about them. Yeah, flavor revolution. Hmm. Anyone else? A flavor revolution. Yeah. Maybe uh, the only one here who knows anything about that. Yeah, I haven't joined the revolution yet. Uh, where do you even pick those guys up at? I think they're only available at Nicotine River. Nicotine River. You're right. Yes. Correct. <laughs> and they're. These are the only Flavor Revolution flavors I've tried. They've got four. You really only have to buy two, maybe one, <laughs> because they're all pretty similar. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, they sort of taste to me like they're kind of built on a Tobacco Absolute or maybe mm -hmm. even like an NET. I couldn't really find anything that said what they were made of. But uh, Woody Tobacco is probably the best one of the group. It's got oh. sort of the grassy base to it of a tobacco absolute. And then it's not oak. Not sure really what it is. Some hmm. sort of wood. Some I don't know my woods. <laughs> I did yeah. uh, sniff a cedar shim one time to try and see if that was what it was, but 
I don't know. Couldn't pin it down, huh? No. <laughs> uh, the other ones pretty much just taste like that grassy base with nothing else really going on on top. Which oh yeah, you could get them. It could be a cheaper alternative to like the Inawera Tobacco Absolute Virginia. Mm, okay. Because they're only like a buck fifty a piece. So, wow, that's not bad. Yeah. Just for like a ten mil or. Uh, yeah, I think. Well, I think they might come in those fifteen mils now that yep. Nicotine <clears throat> River seems to be doing. Oh. Okay. I have a super important question for you, chemical burn victim. Okay. Is vaping wood pleasant? <laughs> 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 Whose wood is it? Well, Oh, it's Flavor Revolutions wood, <laughs> and it's not bad. Yeah, it's I, earthy. I would like to say that I have two of the Flavor Revolutions. I have sweet tobacco and leafy tobacco, mm. and to me, they smell like old school TA. And I have, I just like threw them in a box and did not mix them <laughs> because, um, yeah. Yeah. They You're not allowed awesome. to vape that in the house? <laughs> no, I'm, it's not that I'm not allowed to vape it. It's that I don't like vaping cat piss. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and, <Yeah>. and tobacco <laughs> absolute. There are some good tobacco absolutes in Awara. I know we're not talking Europeans, but they do tobacco absolutes right in most cases. Hmm. Whereas some of the other old school flavor houses didn't. And they have that ammonia strong ammonia hint to me or that's my perception so and i may be totally off it may just smell like that and turn me off i don't know but well yeah the sweet and leafy those are probably my least favorite morning tobacco and woody tobacco but they're all pretty similar and they probably are all gonna smell and taste like cat piss for you <laughs> Oh, there yeah. you go. I, I like woody cat piss. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> woods okay, but you draw the line at cat piss. Yeah. I don't draw that line. I do, I do not. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not so bad, especially if you're in the right mood for it. Yeah, just cat a little cat pee on here. <laughs> yes, sometimes gotta get frisky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh lord. So that's Flavor Revolution. What about TFA tobaccos? You wanted to talk about those? Uh, briefly, probably. Yeah, we, we covered can... the RY4s pretty in-depth um, when we had an RY4 show not too long ago, and there are three of those, but um, at least three of them, maybe four. I'm not sure. Yeah. They don't have that many tobaccos. Yeah, they really don't have a whole lot. Um. I know I've got one that I particularly enjoy from them. Um, but while we're on the topic of RY4s, might as well jump into those. Um, uh, just real quick, I guess, since we did touch on them not too long ago. But um, they're they're pretty good. Uh, I think a lot of people really enjoy the, uh, the TFA RY4s. There's the RY4 Double, right, which is one of the more popular ones. Um, to me, it's not my favorite but I get why people like it. It's, it's accessible. It's not bad. It's sweet. Right. It's, that's not tobacco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like dirty caramel. That's my yeah. kind of tobacco. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's the kind of Do you, is the black honey the one that you like? Yep. You guessed it. That's the one. I was the only one I mixed up from them tonight just because, uh, our way for double, been there, done that. I don't have a whole lot of other ones, but I really like this stuff. It reminds me of like a sweet sort of a cigarillo type of thing. What do you guys think of this one, the TFA Black Honey? I I really like it. It it is very much uh, a cigarillo like. Um, I was trying at one time to do a swisher with it and mm -hmm. got really close and then kind of lost interest. But yeah. <laughs> It black honey, Cubano, and interestingly enough, Western are my three favorite like TFA tobacco tobaccos. Those are the only yeah. ones I've tried. And <laughs> well, the rest are all like, aside from their R RY fours, the rest of their um, the rest of their tobaccos 
taste like variations of Western to me. Those are DK tobacco, DK tobacco base, red type. One that's just called tobacco, <laughs> Turkish, and one that's called cigarillo, but black honey is a better cigarillo than cigarillo. Right. Oh, have you tried the cigarillo? I've, no, I've, but I've heard enough. I've only tried the black honey Cubano type and Western. Yeah, and cigarillo is... <laughs> Cigarillo is like they took uh, Western and Black Honey and mixed it together. Mm, okay. Cigarillo, to me, they used to have another one, and I can't remember the exact name of it, but they had a blog post on how to create it because they stopped carrying it. And it was one of theirs that actually had Tobacco Absolute in it, and they eliminated their TAs some time back because apparently there's a rumor somewhere or some science or a scientific rumor that tobacco absolutes are bad for your lungs. Mm. But, um, and it, it was literally the taste of 90% of commercial tobacco ready to vape juice. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. And I can't remember what it was. It M type. Yeah. M type. Yes, that was it. And they had a blog post on how to create it. And it's like bitter nut extra and their tobacco absolute. It was basically those two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like um, places that had a lot of um, strong followings. Um, I want to, you know, like e pipe mods, their pipe sauce. A lot of theirs were based off of M type. And um, I can't remember another one that was an American vendor and he shut down and only deals in and um overseas but uh, uh a lot of his were based off of m type it wasn't a bad flavor it was very um cat pissy but things could be done with it <laughs> very anyway. strong very strong i that was one of the first flavors i picked up and like one drop in a 10 mil was ruining everything yeah it, it went a long way anyway so the black honey, it's not, I wouldn't say it's bad. I, I kind of enjoy it, but there's, there, am I the only one who gets a little bit of licorice in that? I think probably, because if I, I got licorice in it, I absolutely would never vape it. <laughs> <laughs> you, hate, you hate licorice as much as I do. I don't know. There's something a little bit licorice about it for me. I think I get a little bit of, not could, so much like black licorice, but just, I don't know. It's got like that sweetness to it. It yeah. might it might have have like a slight aniseed note or something. Come to think yeah. of it, I don't know if you guys eat Smarties, but I'm like a Smarties addict. I used yeah. to have the big rolls, the grape Smarties, the purple ones, start mm. tasting like licorice after the tenth one or so. <laughs> tenth one. <laughs> I wasn't I mean, aware that. Oh, they come in those single serving bags. Yeah, just that's a single serving, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Do yeah, I could see something it. with the, the mixture of the savory with that little bit of sweet that just makes you think of black licorice, you know? Uh, yeah, I could see uh, like a very light sort of spice, sweet spice type of note, uh, which might be able to be interpreted as like an anise. Um, but it's pretty... Uh, it's just a hint. It's just it's enough to annoy wild, me. Yeah. It's and really... Even, uh, mostly it's just a, an earthy, dark, slightly smoky sort of little cigar flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as I hate there. Uh, as much as I hate anise or black licorice of any kind, there have been flavors where like or mixes where it's just been a touch. And you know, I really did don't mind it. Like it, it makes it makes it a little more pleasant. I think just that kind of spicy sweetness. So I can see it doing that for the tobacco. Did you like the Cubano type fear? You know what? I <laughs> I I did at one time and and it it like um in cigar flavors and and FA's cigar flavors have a very um something that's missing from the entire Flavora line that strong cigar note you know you No know, I I didn't get a strong cigar note from it I called it Peter Piper flavor Peter it, it tastes like licking about a week's worth of grime off of a bell pepper picker. <laughs> it's like bell pepper. You don't get that bell pepper taste out of that? 
You know, I didn't, but it's also one of those that needs to steep for like stupid three weeks or some shit. Maybe after stupid three weeks, it won't taste like bell pepper yeah. anymore. I wasn't, I'm not a fan of that. I, I got something a little peppery from it too. Uh, I don't really like it. Like a bell pepper? Yeah. It, yes. it hits hard. And not peppery like black pepper, like ruins like everything. Bell pepper. <clears throat> Which one is this again, guys? Cubano type. Cubano type. Now, I didn't get any of that from Western. I just tried Western for the first time uh, just a few days ago. And it's Western is is not terrible, but it's very much old school, like, you know, 2010, 2012 kind of tobacco flavor. Um, it's It's not particularly, to me, it's not particularly tobacco but it's like, I don't know, man, maybe like all of the bad stuff from it tastes like something burning and it tastes like it could be tobacco, but <laughs> it's not, I mean, it used to be a really good flavor because it got, you know, closer than most other artificial flavors got there and things can be done with it. There's just so much, so many better flavors to work with now. Did you hear that they changed it? And do you know if that's true or not? You know, I have not because my, um, that is not my tobacco. Box. Does anybody know if they changed it? No, I mine don't. is three years old, so I would have no idea. Yeah. Mine's probably about three years old too. I bought a 30 <sighs> mil and have used maybe five mil of it. I heard yeah. it changed and is good now. So I ordered a fresh bottle. I mixed it up at 1%. I only let it for about five days before I tried it. I should have, you know, it's probably something like three weeks and it's like completely different a month from now. But it uh, to be a heavy steeper. Yeah. Well, what I got was dirt as a main course with uh, interesting <laughs> sides of tobacco and leather and wood and maybe like some underripe fruit. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much still it. Very dirty. And very, very tobacco like. But it was also very leathery. And what you were saying about Flavor not having that gross thing in there anywhere in their lineup, um, I noticed that they don't have a, an answer for that uh, sort of leathery tobacco. No, they don't. And actually, well, so I don't want to. Well, I didn't like Western. It really, it really brought to, the, to my mind that, hey, this is leathery. Flavora has all these great tobaccos. I've tried them all. I, they don't have a single one that's leathery. What do I do if I want a leathery tobacco? I'm guessing the answer is going to come next week. Okay, wait, wait. So let me get this right. Leather, a note of leather is a desirable quality. Hell yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, can yes. Be. Leather, wood, all of this, this is good. sounds like an off note to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no. it can be if it's like pure leather, right? <laughs> well, that's that's the whole thing of like the the tobacconist, you know. I mean, the men <laughs> tobaccos. <laughs> used, people used to carry them around in leather pouches, you know. Not so much just that because that was the durable pouch of the times, but mm. also it lent a a uh, nice tone to the tobaccos. You know? sure. That's very interesting. That totally makes sense, and. Uh, I can see why, uh, you know, those notes do play very well together. They have that similar earthy quality. And, uh, yeah, so I mean, if you're listening, give us a leathery tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's oftentimes you smell leather and you're like, mm, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you like the smell of leather, Emily? I do. Like a lot of this stuff. I, would I don't want to vape like it, but I like to smell it. Smoke one of these things. But I would like to go into a, a, a fine tobacco shop and smell all the tobaccos. And mm -hmm. I would just be in heaven. And that's sort mm -hmm. of what it's like, vaping this stuff. It's not like smoking. It's not like smoking a cigar or a cigarette. Yeah, a lot of them are anyway. And, you know, I don't want to eat leather, but I love to walk into those leather stores. Or a yeah, Western no. store where they have a bunch of leather gear. Mm -hmm. Or a yeah, fetish store awesome. where they have a bunch of leather gear. The boot section at Cavender's, man, or or someplace. Yes. Like yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. I'll just live in here. 
which is which is appropriate for call for something called western but I, I just don't know about that dirt dirt seems to be the primary flavor whereas like the black honey i call that earthy but it's not the same thing as just straight up dirt you know yeah for sure well, yeah i think uh you can get some cleaner leather notes elsewhere not in america not in america okay that's kind of sad because <laughs> you would think anyway the asians seem to do it well do yeah. they but, all right <sighs> we'll go over Are that you have tried seed tobacco flavors Matt? yeah they're not good okay that's good that's seed Which... tobacco. We can one of my along now. one of my first <laughs> ones that i thought was good but that was back when i was only trying like the old capella and tfa i think thought I liked the Virginia fire cured, but doesn't hold up once you have enough flavor and in a wear was like super popular 2008, 2009, 2010. But even, even when TFA got better at tobaccos, like on into 2012, the popularity of Seedman's just dropped off. Yeah. So that's super old school. And Seedman's I'm very familiar with their, they're not worth buying these days. Don't waste your money. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Matt, did you have anything that you really needed to, felt like you needed to talk about before you go t- tend to the kiddos or whatever you need to do? Uh, I've got some, I don't know, how do you say it? Purillum. Yes. Anyone try those? No. Uh, not yet, actually. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, what do you think? I was not super impressed. Um, I did. There was, there were some in there that weren't terrible. I mean, they were interest. They were interesting in an odd way, but not interesting in like I got to make something with this kind of way. I've got <laughs> super lazy. If it's not really good, I, I'm not going to dick around with six other flavors trying to make it good. Yeah, that's about where. So I just. I mixed up the tobacco bourbon a couple months ago. That one sounds like it could be good. Uh, Let me try. (laughs) I haven't tried it in two months. So I wonder if it's changed. Because back then it was more just, I got the bourbon, but no real tobacco. Okay. Yeah, with a name like tobacco bourbon, I'd definitely be looking for some bourbon in there. That sounds good. It's real sweet. It's like a sweet bourbon. Still don't really get any tobacco. Not a bad bourbon, though. Is it so a, a, does it any, like a woody qualities to it? Um, it might lean towards tobacco, I guess. <laughs> no, it's more like if you... It's like a virgin bourbon, almost. Okay. Not really boozy, nothing really hitting me. Just yeah. sort of that sweet bourbon taste. Gotcha. Okay. That's interesting. Not really any oak. You know, <laughs> you know, like you put two cubes in a glass and poured some bourbon over it and drank it, and then you ran off with the two cubes in the glass the next morning you drank it. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe something like that. Gotcha. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. And then <laughs> tobacco original just tasted like our wife or to me. Oh, really? I just, anything that's got cyclotene in it, I just pretty much only taste that. That's okay. what RY4 double has done to me. It's just uh, that takes that out of everything. <laughs> yeah, it's and a then, distinguishable note. Is cyclotene that, like, that kind of dirty, caramely note? Yeah, that's probably where that's coming from in everything. <laughs> Gotcha. And then sweet tobacco. I tried this for the first time earlier. Also, not really a fan. That one tastes more boozy than uh, the bourbon one, actually. Really? <laughs> but it's uh, not any good kind of boozy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Judging by the look on your face, you weren't a fan of it. 
Yeah, so I'm probably not going to be using any of those. So there's a whole lot that we won't use, but I think that's a good way to get into the Flavora stuff, probably, <laughs> yeah. unless, unless anyone's got something else that they, Flavor West, <laughs> okay, we just so, say the yeah. name and... 555 was a thing for a time, and that's the end. It, it, it was, and as was Coomerin Pipe, which interesting things could be done with it like eight years ago, but kind of don't waste your time now. That was my first ever vape was a 555. <laughs> yeah, and that's, uh, is that a Flavor West one? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of 555s out there. Flavor West was, was not bad. And there's a lot of flavor West tobaccos, but you're saying all of them just no, just no. They're they're just not for me, man. It doesn't Same. sound like a good idea to me. <laughs> yeah, flavor West, you know, they're great for like your candies and your sweet stuff, and I get why they would want to make a tobacco just so they have it for their lineup. But it doesn't seem like something they would particularly sell. They out. have like thirty of them. They have, yeah, they do. There's about thirty of them. And and, I, and I to be fair, I have not tried all thirty, but um, I don't I don't feel the need to either because the track record just wasn't really good. Yeah, I yes. tried one and said that was enough. So like, <laughs> what, uh, get what bored. Kind of did you get from it? Was it like thin? It didn't have uh, enough flavor for you. What were the some of the you know points to where you were like, okay, this isn't what I'm looking for? Can you? I just remember 555 being the first thing that was soggy tobacco. Soggy tobacco. Soggy, okay. nutty, dirty tobacco. Yeah. Okay. All right. Soggy, dirty and nuts. Oh, he's just Coomer, soggy. <laughs> Coomer and pipe is like a, a wet, <laughs> vanilla-ish, almost pipe-ish, tobacco-ish flavor. Um, okay. Yeah, I like those pipe tobaccos for sure. Yeah. But it, it's not necessarily a good one either, though. I mean, there's way better things now. Mm. So, you, so you guys like your tobaccos. You want them dry. Like, the drier, the better. No, 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 no. Wet tobacco can be good. It's just, it has to be like... It has to have a good tobacco taste. Like, yeah. moist rather than soggy. Right, right. Like, Tatanka, man, if you go, like, 3% oh, man. or 3.5% on it, it gets dense and wet. I want to say the dreaded word of like extremely moist, but it, it's supposed to be. It's a chewing tobacco, you know? Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. And it tastes like when you go heavy with it, it tastes like red man, kind of like red man tobacco. I mean, it's still very much tobacco, but it's that wet, you know, really sweet chewing tobacco flavor. Okay. And and really light, I get like um, mid tier row your own tobacco, but gotcha. Now five 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 for me was if you took that mid tier rolling tobacco, then dropped it in a river, and then tried to like roll up a cigarette with it. <laughs> 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 Yum, dirty river water cigarette. Okay, <laughs> but for the time it worked. Hey man, I'm not ever touching it again. I threw it in the trash, but. For 2012, let's go. All right, here's something from the modern era, I guess. Capella has come out with some tobacco flavors. I have not Ooh. tried them because they're Capella tobacco flavors. <laughs> yeah, they did. Well, they did. you're not missing anything. So you guys tried these? I haven't. Uh, I mixed them up, but I was going to try them live here because they didn't stand. They didn't smell I've, very good. I don't know if they've came out with more of them, but what was it like four years ago or five years ago? They came out with them as soon as they popped up on their website. They didn't even have them in the bigger sizes yet. I yeah. bought the tobacco line package, which was every single one of them they had. And I did multiple percentage steepers and the only difference in percentages, it went from like really like naff tasting to extremely naff tasting. They just, naff they're naff being like, you know, had they came out in 2009, 2010, they would have been really good tobacco flavors, Yeah, <laughs> but they just missed the mark in today's like, realm of accuracy with what the we bar have has been raised the bar has been raised yeah i mean they're not even crappy 
FA's got some really good tobacco flavors and they've got some really crappy ones and they're not even on tier with FA's bad ones, I don't think. Mm -hmm. What about the Delosi tobacco, Stephen? Holy macaroni. So I'm still getting to some of them. They've got 10. 10 freaking tobaccos. Um, What have I tried so far? I've tried their uh, Smooth, which... uh, I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be a tobacco or not, but it looks like it's tobacco on the picture, so I figured I'd mix it up. If that's not all I saw was a brown blob, I hope that's tobacco and not a yeah. smooth <laughs> bowel movement or something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the smooth is all right. It, I mostly just uh, get some like sweetness. It's got a little bit of like a woody note to it, but I wouldn't pin it as a tobacco. It is very smooth though, uh, and all you these like I mediocre. Make- <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. That one falls in the category. Now, um, Sam, the uh, the owner of Delosi, I believe that's his name anyway. Uh, he's particularly proud of his um, of his tobaccos, uh, and I can see why. He's got some pretty good ones in there. Um, let's see. So, one I've been tasting right now uh, was the Decang, um, which I, I'm not sure what a Decang is supposed to be. Maybe like an Asian type of tobacco. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and that's what I was getting from it. It's uh, it's dark. It's woody. Um, it's also kind of spicy, uh, but not like um, you know, like clove or cinnamon or something. More like a, a lighter, lighter type of spice that you get from those Asian type of tobaccos. Um, so it's actually quite nice. It's it's pretty smooth. It is a little, uh, a little bit dry. So it would benefit from something like you know Delosi smooth, um, which I think you know, would make a great additive for any of these tobaccos, really. Um, but yeah, the Delosi de Kang is pretty good. Um, I was vaping on some, uh, did anybody else try the uh, Capella uh, Bold Burley tobacco? Yes. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think of this one? I just dropped I, it. I don't like it. Um, and I don't remember specifically why either. You know, I mean, you're still talking four years ago whatever okay. maybe i don't know four three years three four years ago and i don't know if they reformulated and they got better but i didn't i didn't particularly care for any of the of the capella some were more tobacco like than others but still had so much wrong with them that i didn't feel driven to fix them you know yeah and a, is a burley supposed to be sweet no a burley is well a burley is a very sharp tobacco. That's the, when you look at your, like you bust a cigarette open or something and you have yeah. the lighter tobaccos in there and then you have the darker t- tobaccos in. It's a very dark, strong tobacco, not necessarily sweet. Virginia yeah, so is sweet. That's that's what's kind of throwing me off about this Capella, Bold Burley. Uh, you hear Bold Burley, you think big on flavor, you know, nice, dark, and, robust, uh, and really. It, it tastes very sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. It's light. It's yeah. uh, it's it's not a burly. <laughs> speaking of that, guys, can I ask a question? Certainly. Um, so speaking of like when you're mixing tobaccos, like when do you want it to be sweet and when do you not want it to be sweet? Because I hear a lot of people talking about adding things like bitter wizard or something to take the sweetness out of it. Um, so, I mean, I would say for me, that mostly falls under personal preference or whatever else I'm mixing it with, right? Like if I'm going for uh, like, a, like a cherry tobacco or something like that, uh, or like an apple tobacco or something, I might want a sweeter tobacco um, just so that they play well together. Um, but you could even go with a more bitter just to counteract it. What, what do you guys think about that one? I had nuts. Like you know, in in in, 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 oh, sorry. in mixing, the world is your oyster, so to say. But like in tobaccos, you know, like the sweeter cigars tend towards your cheaper cigars or some of your novelty cigars. And your sweeter pipes are your, you know, the ones that lend more to the aromatics and the flavored um, tobaccos. And, you know, people want a drier less sweet tobacco during the day and a sweeter tobacco in the evening, or maybe a sweet tobacco in the morning and the evening, a drier one during the day. But, you know, in liquids, like all of the conventional tobacco, you know, mixing stuff goes out the window. 
Yeah. For some people. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, for me personally, I don't really like any sweet tobaccos. Sometimes yeah. I'll mix it with something sweet, but as a tobacco flavor, I usually don't want it to be sweet. I like personally. One. I like one specific one. And I like to use that with like nuts or not not necessarily fruits, but something that's something that is more like a nut. Yeah, which one's that? Fear taught me this trick. Sweet cigarette. Sweet yes. cigarette by Flavora. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is my tobacco sweetener. Like if I'm mixing with tobacco, I tend to not use any sweeteners. I'll use sweet cigarette. Oh, interesting. That can make that for me at least. That can like give that can fill those odd cravings for the sweetness of a cigarette. Yes, it's aptly named. Yeah, that one sort of reminds me of sucking on the end of a unlit cigarette. It's just got that like filter taste to it almost. Yeah. A little vanilla, a vanilla filter. Yum. <laughs> he wants to breathe everything through a vanilla filter. That's right. And, you know what? I, I have to admit, I, I'm, I'm ashamed and I need to apologize to DIY Flavor Shack because they did send me the entire Flavors Array line. And I was going to try to do some neat stuff with them because, you know, they were real proud of them. And, and I just, I mixed up a bunch of them and I, they're up here on the desk. I still haven't, a year later, I haven't, I haven't tried them or I've just gotten stupid busy, man. Yeah, well, they sold been. enough Holy Holy Grail RY4 thanks to you that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, and that's why. Willing to forgive you. You. They That's actually why they sent them with. They were like, "Man, we'll, we'll be happy to send you these. Maybe you'll do something interesting with them." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and I I would if they're really good. I just man, I this last year I have really created very little. Man, I have, I mean, I I get my tobacco flavors out and I'll mix, but I don't even write shit down. You know. Yeah. I, I do that a lot too nowadays. I'm just like, yeah, let's try this out, see what happens. And what's weird is I'm mixing 100 mil bottles, you know? Oh, and really? I, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I know it's not going to be terrible, and I just don't know how good it's going to be. And there's been a couple, like, a week later, I'm like, holy crap, what the F did I put in here? Because I don't even label shit anymore. I man. wish I'd oh, written yeah. this down. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely don't even label yeah. shit anymore. Still by smell. Yeah, I have this right here is ice cream and tobacco, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. it's really good. You got to write it down, man. Yeah. Uh, so I got a question for you We're guys. We're going to have to come down there and do an intervention for you or something. You've gone off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like we're in a similar boat, man. Um, so Alberta is another uh, Delosi tobacco. It's one I've been dripping a bit. And uh, I kind of like this one. It's very woody. Um how would you describe an Alberta tobacco? Because I got to say, it's the only tobacco I've tried called Alberta. Is that just a reference to like a place maybe where it's grown? It might be a reference to a place and it might be a maple tobacco. Who knows? I mean. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, there is a whole Canadian tobacco thing, but I don't know enough about Canadian tobaccos like when I was seriously into tobacco is mostly um, European and American tobaccos. Now that you mentioned maple, I do get a slight um, <clears throat> maple note from it. Uh, not like a maple syrup though, I guess more like the actual wood because it is very woody. Um, slightly dry, still pretty smooth. Um, yeah, I can see why uh, Sam is proud of these tobaccos because the Delosi ones are like I haven't had one where I'm like, oh, it's just not good. Um, for the most part, they're pretty mellow, but I mean, Delosi tends to be a little lighter on flavor. Um, so, like I said, I've got all these mixed up at five, and I haven't tasted one where I'm like, oh, that's too much. Um, but uh, yeah, this Alberta, it's woody, mapley, uh, just slightly mapley and a uh, little dry. Quite nice. Very, very slightly sweet. Not very sweet at all, uh, which I like about it. You know, being able to have that maple without it being sweet is 
it's kind of a nice, nice aspect there. The only thing I can find Googling it is Canadian Classics, <laughs> the brand that was launched in 1995 as a sports oriented wilderness party style cigarette. <laughs> you know, what the hell? Moved you up know, here. 55 says he's from Alberta, so maybe this is one for you, huh? <laughs> when I moved up here, I was still smoking. And I went from Marble Lights to Canadian Classics. And the only, and, and the only thing I, I remember about it is that it was a little, like, they were smoother somehow, you know? Like, yeah. they were milder than okay. cigarettes. Kind of pleasant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> See, even even them could get on board with this probably. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is pretty smooth. I have tried all of the liquid barn tobaccos and been disappointed by them all. Oh, that's right. Liquid barn Same. makes tobaccos. Yeah, I remember we tried though. those last time, I think. I really wanted a couple of them to be good because they they sounded really good and they're they're just not man they're <laughs> they're they're overly sweet and they're a mess. It, IMO. <laughs> yeah, what did you think about them, Dave? Butterscotch graham tobacco is just yucky. Yeah, it tastes super weird. It sounds now, if, like it would be so good. If fear made a butterscotch graham tobacco recipe, I would mix it up tomorrow, like right away, emergency. <laughs> call in sick to work i gotta i gotta mix sure. but so it, it actually sounds good but the flavor itself is just gross i don't even know how to describe it it it's a buttery sweet mess man and i don't know yeah. how to how to it's it's not it's not graham it's not butterscotch and it's not tobacco it's <laughs> yeah. buttery, yeah, none of those things funk i mean it's it's not good it's and i've I'm like maybe this is, maybe this is one of theirs where you have to go like a fifth of their percentage. It's like it's terrible at a fifth of what they say, and it's terrible at what they say. <laughs> okay, good because a couple times I've been tempted to try that flavor. Uh, no, no, no. Let's, I'm, let's, anyway, I mean, most flavors I can describe to you, but I'm at a loss for words on the on this one, and that rarely happens. But it's butter ish but the butter is very gross it's like butter from a dying cow it's like rancid <laughs> butter or some shit it's just it's worse than that because i've tasted some things going, okay that's a rancid butter flavor this is something there's something else wrong with that butter besides rancid it's like butter from a post-apocalyptic cow or something, <laughs> something really wrong there that yeah. is that is a bummer because now well, that all i want is that profile yeah, yeah honestly. you're going to have to write that one down, bud. I, I actually I actually think I have that one. I might I might do some notes on it and release it. It's, I mean, you have a butterscotch tobacco already. Just give us some gram with it. I, I, I actually have that already. I'll, I'll do some notes and, and remix it or something. Oh, awesome. Here, All right, they have maybe a... Thursday or something. Yeah. Uh, the sweet pipe tobacco. Does it, it that one wasn't gross per se? Who's this but one? It, sweet pipe tobacco by Liquid Barn. You want to know oh, about okay. the Liquid Barns? Wasn't really, really gross. It kind of tastes like cherry wood. Yeah, okay. it's not. It's not tobacco, man. It's a mess. It's a sweet mess. It's a sweet, <laughs> yeah, very sweet cherry wood. Um, they have the tobacco, and it tastes just like the sweet pipe, but with clove added to it. It's called tobacco, and why does it? Why does a flavor called tobacco taste like sweet cherry wood with clove? <laughs> Hell out of me! That one didn't make it past the smell test for me. You smelled it. You're like, nope. You're smarter than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it for over a year and haven't done anything with it. And they have one called cherry cream tobacco. I mean, vanilla cream tobacco. And that to me just, it just tastes like you dropped a vanilla pudding pop in dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that one. And there's nothing else. There's no, it's not tobacco. It's not even like an earthy tobacco. It's just literal dirt. Okay, and so dirt's an off note, but you want some kind of earth. Yeah, 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 there's a difference between an earthy tobacco and actual dirt. Even if it's like a little dirty. 
You know, sometimes that can be kind of nice. Yeah, but no, really this is just dirt, but it's mostly vanilla pudding pop. It's so yeah. Is that ew. dirt? Does that dirt come across like a TFA or strawberry? Uh, t- I've never tried TFA organic strawberry. Oh, that would taste like pure dirt. There's a wild strawberry or something. In aware it has a strawberry flavor that has dirt in it. And it's it's pretty similar to that. Dirt. Yeah. TFA organic strawberry can actually be used to great success, but you've got to use it really low and with other stuff. Anyway, we're not talking right. about strawberries. <laughs> we're talking, no, we're about, not talking about strawberries. <laughs> Um, let me see what else can we do without going full infomercial. I, I the Wonder Flavors is an American continent. Um, oh, that's right, Wonder Flavors company, and the only thing they have on the tobacco spectrum that I'm aware of is their is their uh, vanilla mm-hmm. Ruyon custard, which is I love that flavor, but that's not so tobacco. Good. I mean, it's got slight tobacco qualities to it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I would consider it a tobacco. What do you guys think? Would you call it a tobacco? It it's not. It lends itself to tobacco because of that that like tobacco hint of a hole it has in it. But it's not. It's a really good flavor. I have it, and I I've used it a lot. But Does it's tobacco not implying vanilla. Yes, <laughs> it's got this nice little hole in it where tobacco would fit really good. You and know. that's it. And that that one uh, sort of um, epitomizes the difference between earthy and dirt, because mm, there's a yeah. little touch of that something earthy in there that's kind of like tobacco. It's really crying out for tobacco in my mind. Yeah. But but it's it's earthy. It, it's not dirty. Yeah. Like dirt. Dirty. Dirt. Dirt. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well. Let's see. We talked about the DIY flavor shag that fear uh, has apologized to them, and holy, holy grail, our Y four is the best. And there's really not much else to say about that today. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, guys, if you haven't tried holy grail R Y four, you are missing out. It is the absolute best American R Y four there is. Ah, uh, but you don't think it's the best R Y four there is, huh? No, I actually think well. It, it's a weird one for me, man. I absolutely love that stuff. And I have seriously like by myself vaped a gallon of the concentrate. <laughs> I added up all my orders and I have vaped a gallon of it a little <laughs> bit more actually, <laughs> because I buy it in these, these little single serve bottles here. <laughs> yeah. single serve. <laughs> And uh, I mean, it's just seriously good. And but it's very specific. It's not like you're going to lot to do a lot of really neat things with it because it's got coffee in it. It's oh, got, it does. Huh? It's got whipped cream in it. It's got cream in it. It's got a heavier vanilla in it. Um, it's got the TF TFA RY4 double dirt in it. Um, that dirt. I mean, it is, and, and it's a one shot. I mean, to be fair, it's one of their old one shots and, and the bulk of it is TFA RY4 double, but, um, it's got some wonderful things in it and I love it so much that I have cloned it and I, I almost posted the clone and I'm ashamed to, ah, I wonder if you, but I cloned it without the dirt. Do what? I wonder if you subbed a different RY4 in there instead of RY4 double how that would come out. I, I did. I did. Okay. And I, I mean, I cloned it twice once with RY4 double and once without, because like RY4 double, I have this thing where I can't vape a lot of it over time because the dirt starts to build with me. Yeah. Like dirty ashtray dirt. It's not like putting pop, putting pop in the dirt, dirt. It's like dirty ashtray dirt. And mm. now, I know that you can clone RY4, holy, holy grail RY4 with um tfa ry4 double in their cafe napoleon but you're saying you've actually cloned the cafe napoleon too yes without oh. the dirt what oh without no that was the that was the tfa ry4 clone without the dirt yeah the and i i cloned it without the dirt i used a different ry4 jungle flavors uh, yes yeah that's what i thought uh <laughs> I'm gonna have to try this upgraded holiest of grails, our wife. <laughs> yeah, and jungle flavors falls in. Is it Asian? No, they're made in Germany. Germany. Okay, that's right. 
All right. Um, new nicotine. They have some tobaccos. You tried those, Steve? That's, oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, um, I haven't tried them in a long time, but I have tried their tobaccos. And their tobaccos are actually really great. Um, I believe they're NETs. Um, have you, has anybody else tried these? Fear, maybe? Yes. Yes, I have. And let me let me pull up their site. I stopped by them a long time ago because of uh, the shipping times and the... Uh, and, uh, uh, cost, but yeah. And to be fair, their nicotine is up there with one of my most preferred. Nicotine well, stores. they really pissed me off on a nicotine order. It took like yeah. a month and a half. And when it got here, it was shit. It was not yeah. their fucking quality. And they replaced it with more shit nicotine. And then they refused to give me my money back. So, um, they did eventually make it right with good nicotine, but I hadn't ordered anything since. Yeah. But, uh, that aside, <laughs> their, their um their tobaccos uh are actually really good um very very authentic and like nutty earthy um especially like their original tobacco i've tried a couple of them I'm trying to get two flavors. What flavor has cherries? There we go. oh it looks like they started carrying euro flavors too uh, let's see, tobacco, that one was good. I also tried their, uh, what was it, the tropical, oh, the honey tobacco was also really good. The honey, to both of those are, are good. The honey tobacco is really good. Yeah. That, that BRY4 is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, I felt like I would have liked that one more if the berry was a little bit better, but it was really good. It was nice and moist and and very flavorful for sure. And their island tobacco is the one I'm thinking of. It is amazing, man. Yeah. And you know what? They don't have. Um, all right. So they used to have tobacco and then they had flu cured tobacco. That's right. They know, did have the flu cured. And I don't know if they combined them, but I actually still use flu cured. And I was just looking for the bottle and it was thick and goopy, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. They are really thick. And I mean, I, I would think yeah. that's, you know, uh, probably because they're NETs possibly. They, they, they are, they are, I mean, they are, an, they are an absolute. They're not a, they're not your typical like industry standard absolute. They are a tobacco absolute and, but they are, they're really good, man. Yeah. Yeah, very good stuff. Make me order from new nicotine again with all this talk. It's been a long. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of flavors that I would say go get these. But I mean, if you're buying from new nicotine, definitely their tobaccos. Um, also, their uh, um, I liked the Mayan mocha a bit, but their banana cream pie was also really good. Their their banana cream pie is amazing, man. Yeah, just I heard that by one. itself, dude. That's. I, their, don't know if I could beat that really. <laughs> their passion fruit coconut cream is really, really good. Yeah, I like that one too. It does come off a little soapy, but I think I was just going too high. Yeah, you, I was mixing got, everything like five percent. So yeah, you I, gotta use it lower. I think we gave all of the other manufacturers a a, a fair shake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we can start our info marshal now. <laughs> well, I mean, we already false started it a few times of necessity and conversation, yeah. but yeah really dig into flavora tobaccos all right i'm gonna have to go but there was uh, nick nick vape anyone tried nick vape uh i did not oh, that's a thing i forgot about those guys you know not in forever and not that i re nothing that i remember so yeah nothing was good i got like all <laughs> of them and they all sucked yeah. there was uh their carolina showed some promise uh but I had, I went up to like 10% with it because 3% is where I started. Couldn't taste a whole lot, but what I could taste was all right. Bumped it up to five, eventually went up to 10 and it still tasted like if you mixed it with anything, it was just going to get obliterated. So, and all the rest suck. <laughs> so yeah. don't, don't waste your time. Well, their real honey is a honey flavor that I think would pair really well with tobacco if you wanted a uh, honey tobacco flavor, but I haven't tried any of their tobaccos. Yeah, that, that's the only thing I've tried from them. And I think that was on DIY vapor supply too. 
yeah everything is so i just filled up my cart but there was no diamonds in the rough there thanks for the warning (laughs) (laughs) all right and i am gonna have to sign off now we'll see you next week i hope your kids get to feeling better thanks for coming on oh i hope so too (laughs) yeah thanks a lot for coming on man take your easy buddy thanks for having me See y'all next week. Have a good one, Chacho. Nice seeing you. All right. So I guess now we get to let the Flavor love begin. (laughs) So let me butt in here real quick. And I know Flavor watches these intently. And I want to issue an apology. You guys sent me a beta flavor. I tested it thoroughly, wrote copious notes, and forgot to hit send in Discord. And I didn't realize that until I opened the random free box of stuff y'all sent to me last week. Mm. And I'm so ashamed I didn't even send it. And it's so far past its beta cycle that uh, I don't know if it would do you any good. Is that the uh, sweet and smoky tobacco? No, no, it was the Latakia. Oh, okay. Maybe, Maybe that's sweet and smoky. I don't know. I think they changed that to sweet and smoky. Okay. Oh, really? So what did, uh, what did it taste like your Latakia? It didn't taste like Latakia. Um, okay. And you know what? They're, they're one that, um, you know, when they develop something, they're ac- there's some stuff. I mean, everybody steps in and do every once in a while. So they do miss the mark. Um, they are human, but stuff that they specifically label a lot of times is very accurate, you know. Yeah. I mean, it might be missing part of the body or or some bottom notes or some, you know, f- something to flesh it out, it, but it's very accurate, and it just wasn't Latakia. Latakia is a very, very specific tobacco. I mean... Yeah, I think that's what happened. They were calling it Latakia, and they realized that it. they got enough feedback that it wasn't accurate to Latakia, so yeah. they changed it to sweet and smoky tobacco. Okay. Which is, which is a more accurate description. But is it sweet and smoky? It is sweet yes. and smoky. It, it, it now lives up to its up. name. And Latakia is anything but sweet. It's very smoky. It's very much, you get that pine and cypress note in it. Mm. And it's, I mean, it just is, you know, is what it is. It's a very dry, not sweet at all tobacco. Okay. Yeah, and I think they hit smoky is sweet. Yeah, it's it's very slightly sweet. And I wouldn't even say it's like a fruity type of sweetness. Um, or even like a maltol or sucralose type of sweetness, right? It's uh it's it seems fairly unique to me anyway, as far as sweetness for a, a cigarette goes. Or not a cigarette, but a tobacco. I was super excited when he when he told me about that and that they were sending me some because like Latakia is this this love thing for me. Even like um, when I gave up nets, I continued to make this one net that I liked because it was super heavy. Um, Latakia and that manufacturer ran out of real Latakia, and you can't get real Latakia Takia anymore. So mm. anyway, Jerry, you've been quiet. Have you tried the sweet and smoky tobacco yet? Yes, and I like yeah. it. I love it. I. I, I, well, I'm not sure if I love it, but I definitely am a fan and I'm very happy that it's when I, when I got sent it, I was worried that it was going to be an additive kind of like pucker. Cause yeah, I, wasn't like sure what this, I wasn't sure what to think of, of sweet and smoky tobacco. Like sounds like a good combination, but that sounded more, is this going to be like a weird, the sweetness from sweet cigarette with like an ashy taste to it? Yeah, or like neutral It's taste. not smoky like ash. It's smoky like no. tobacco has been smoked the way meat is smoked. Yeah, like it's yeah. been roasted or something. But it doesn't taste like liquid smoke either. That would be disgusting. No, yeah, but I, so I can right. get like a minor de- like dirty neutral base type smokiness from it. Yeah. You know, like Latakia is is literally cured in the rafters of barns, and they burn um, cypress trees underneath. You know, oh, to, really, man. yeah, that's that's the smoke is is the cypress trees smoking it. That's so interesting that you would smoke tobacco to prepare. Well, the the 
the legend or the lore behind it is that they, in Syria, they had a bumper crop a couple of years, like a just massive abundance of tobacco and they weren't getting rid of it. And so, you know, used to, they would store it in their curing barns and their curing barns were also like animal barns and they had to keep shit wind warm in the winter. And so they, you know, took cypress trees in there and burned them. And then the next year and Latakia tobacco is very much an additive. I mean, mm. it's like uh, people that, it would want to smoke 100% tobacco or like people you would not want to fuck with in a bar, you know, they would just kill you by looking at you or something, you know, it's super, super strong, even like really strong blends or maybe 15% at most Latakia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. It's uh, very acrid and very, very smoky and very piney. Interesting. The first time that I, when I, the first like, first hit of the sweet and smoky tobacco mixed up at 2%, I thought uh, Black Fire is dead to me now. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. But then I realized that there might be times when I want to use Black Fire and I don't want all that sweetness. Yeah, because it does have a noticeable, it, yeah, well, almost it's, like the, it's like the sweet cigarette on a very low measure. Mm -hmm. it's but it's it it reminds me of that kind of sweetness yeah and i think this uh for sure lends it's like it's great by itself but i think as an accent or an additive to another tobacco this, this that's where this is really going to shine um yeah i think i prefer it that way but at the same time i i could also vape this by itself it's pretty complex by yeah, itself yeah and yeah, enjoyable yeah, yeah. by itself um, because it's got so much going on between the that smoke and that sweetness. I don't know how well it will work as an additive because it um, you kind of have to more than additive. Yeah, because you, well, you kind of have to take it up two percent or, or or more to get mm -hmm. that smokiness to really come out in a mix. Well, yeah, I've got it at three, and, and then a lot of that bring all that sweetness with it too. So you have to really want both things. You know, if if they had some of that missing, you guys need to put out a leather flavor, leather, <laughs> and, and some lovage and woodruff in it, and and something to give it a little more, like heavier moist tobacco note. It would be an excellent pipe tobacco, like Tatanka, maybe. Yeah, uh, I don't know that Tatanka would go. You know, I didn't mix those two because Tatanka itself is kind of sweet. It is kind of sweet. Fear, did you see that recipe that I just made um, on Saturday? I did not. Well, it's not even fair to say I made it. I, it was really crowdsourced. You know that um, the DIY, Saturn DIYing that Fresh does? Yeah. I went on his show with him and I made this mix this thing that's it's um banana cigar what it banana got, did you use i used two bananas i used hangson banana and i used salubarone banana flambe um hey guys i got a quick question i'm sorry to what's that this. uh connecticut shade um by Flaboard. is that one is that one a uh, leathery no, you know, it, 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 it isn't. It's got, interestingly enough, Connecticut shade tastes very much like the um, cigar wrapper leaves minus the leather. It's mm. got an almost coffee note to it. It's got yes. an almost fermented note to it. it does. Um, and it's got a tobacco note to it. It's got some other interesting notes that play, but it doesn't have that leathery note okay. to me. If only okay. there was a leather tobacco or leather additive you could mix with to get it. Yeah, because that's one um, I had kind of forgotten about as far as like is, as far as the tobacco flavor. Oh, there it is, Connecticut Shade. Okay. I I can't forget Connecticut Shade. It's probably one of my favorites. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I mean, what I put that. The coffee I mean, note that's in there is the better than coffee flavors. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, it's that's got cool. a little bit of coffee. Um, you can make it, you can give, use it to give an impression of chocolate even. 
Like yep. it still has that cigar wrap to it. It's a it's a bit of a darker like base to me. I I love it. I do too. I do too. I like it with vanillas as well. Like if mm. you, if you want to take a tobacco that's a little bit like of a dark. I mean, it, it's similar to milk and honey almost to me, where it does a lot of good things of what I would think of like a dark brown tobacco base of like cool okay i can add something like a coffee note to it or ch- more chocolate or i can add some mm. more caramels or things like that anything that's like a warm brown note to it and i love it for that i tell you what man the um nicotine rivers and it was one of their one shots i don't even know if they still sell it because i bought one bottle of it and i i hadn't it, they have a vanilla tobacco that's not not terrible. Like when they first started doing their own flavors and they were just really blends of other flavors. Um, their vanilla tobacco is not, it's not like super good, but it's not bad at all. It's got a nice vanilla. Anyway, I vaped all, I got rid of all that by mixing it half and half with Connecticut shade. That sounds good. Cause yeah, it also can, yeah. What I've been wanting to do and I haven't gotten around to it at, at actually is, uh, that new Flavora, um, the vanilla marshmallow. Oh, that would be really good. I love I can marshmallow. I tell you about that. To be careful with that one. Which okay. One? Be careful with that one. Well, I was telling you about the banana to the banana cigar recipe. Hmm. Um, this is just the second version of this. Of course, I didn't make it myself. People were suggesting things on the show in the chat and the other panel on, on the show. So I did, it was it's not really my recipe, but um. The first version, I tried to use that in there, and because <laughs> I wanted some vanilla note, <laughs> it came out tasting like you were eating a banana peep in a tobacco shop. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh I, and I didn't think I've never encountered a marshmallow to be that forward of a flavor, but one percent changed the whole. C- and with all this tobacco, I mean, sweet and smoky, I had cured in there, um, and it still sort of was the was the centerpiece those all those bananas one percent hanks and banana that's a lot of hanks and banana yeah, um plenty. And, and that one percent of that vanilla marshmallow was enough to turn the whole thing into a marshmallow recipe instead of the cigar recipe that i intended it to be hmm. i mean that flavor is good but just be careful <laughs> i can see that I, i'm just i was just thinking that, that the other things i've tried before are, are more lighter vanillas like things like vanilla bean or things like that that aren't like a full heavy vanilla flavor but that yeah. that could be good i could see the marshmallow ruining it though because that's a very you're right that is a potent marshmallow it's it is a it, have. it's more potent in a mix than it tastes like by itself too you put it in a mix you're like yeah this will high it'll just be a nice little vanilla note i love that vanilla note in there let me get some of that in my cigar and uh no <laughs> no it was a disastrous you thing you don't want your vanilla tobacco to be too heavy vanilla yeah no i just wanted to, i mean i don't no, want it to be too heavy vanilla or marshmallow yeah, you don't want it to be. A, you don't want it to be a marshmallow. That was was a quite an experience. Experience, and it surprised me how marshmallowy it was. But we fixed that. We took out the marshmallow and somebody said put native tobacco in there, and I used that I, with the cure, the sweet and smoky. I, and it came out I really think good. it's oh, safe to native. say that the TLDR of FLV tobaccos is that you need all of them if you really like tobaccos and the only one that would be highly situational the only two actually are pucker and commercial cigarette because you're it's commercial cigarette is marmite you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it uh commercial cigarette is the only well i really haven't found a good use for arabian myself because it's just so funky and Dude, oh, got man. that heavy spice note. I just, it's not, a, I don't, I don't not enjoy it by itself. I just haven't found a use for it for me. To, it hasn't yeah. worked. In the things I've tried to do with it. I may have did been you using try it. Try Arabian Nights with it, that one I did. No, but I will. Yeah. I'll give that a shot. It, it's, it's very specific. Ar- yeah. Arabian is very specific. It's very much Arabian. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was gonna say any any time I've used Arabian, you have to have Arabian as the star. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Would you say that one tastes kind of like a camel? <sighs> like you an know, actual camel? I've never tasted a camel. Camel cigarette? No, I don't think it tastes like a camel cigarette. I I, I don't think so either, really. Um, I think it maybe it tastes like what a camel cigarette wants to be when it grows up someday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, like that kind of tobacco. It's yeah. it's a weird one too, man. It works at it, like it works at point 2. It will dominate yeah. a recipe at point 2. Oh, for sure. It's super strong. Yeah. So I was saying Arabian I haven't managed to find a good use for, but the only flavor of tobacco that I don't like is commercial cigarette. I don't I don't mm. think that's even usable. Well, it, it is. It's just too dirty. It's too dirty for a lot of people. It's too dirty for me. And I, I mean, mean, I'm pretty dirty, but <laughs> I've I've used it to some success, and there are some people that love it. Um, JJ from Discord loves that stuff, man. Um, but to me, it's just way too. I don't like heavy ash, and it is ashy to me. Yeah. I mean, well, it's very, aware of has dirty neutral base for that. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot less violent than commercial cigarette but for me i can get all the ash that i want in a vape from kentucky blend that's a perfect amount of ash for me oh yeah yeah that's one i don't have a lot of experience with that's one of the uh flavora ones also right? yes flavora kentucky that's blend is yeah. one of my that's favorites like the, that's the there's staple an, there's <laughs> an ash bar and there's a perfect amount of ash how would you say it relates to uh, the sweet and smoky tobacco we just tried? The sweet and smoky tobacco has no ash. Okay. It's yeah. smoky without being ashy at all. No, the, the other thing with commercial cigarette is if you take it too high, it's a lot of ash, but it has, you can, if you really push it, it has like those weird grassy note elements that are kind of just not necessarily earthy or dirty, but just weird when you say grass do you mean grass like green grass like yard clippings or do yeah, you mean, I mean like, like yard clippings. oh no i don't want yard clippings or like, at yeah. least at least to me but it that also just could be how i interpret the ash getting that high where it's like this this weird vacuum it almost feels like and it's like sucking things out and then it's just weird off notes of grass yard clippings yeah just that's no commercial cigarettes a no for me dog <laughs> yeah it's 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 very very like pucker it's very specific and i don't know if you're gonna love or hate pucker pucker definitely has its uses i wouldn't necessarily call it a tobacco but um, it's yes. tell me about this one what, what do you uh what do you get from pucker what is pucker all about the first time i tried pucker i think i might have tried it too high i thought it was terrible it's like kind of tart actually really tart with a yeah. weird tobacco note on it. And I kept thinking this must, this might be what grasshopper spit tastes like. It's, <laughs> you know what, man, I thought there's a, there's a brand of, of uh, peach rings from Mexico that the um, little Mexican grocery store down the street carries. And the uh -huh. very first one is super tart and really good. And everyone after that tastes like somebody poured pucker on a fucking peach ring. It's just, it's weird. It's, it's got that grassy And I'm not, I, I don't want to know if they, I'd be interested to see if they're using the same pucker compound that they use in Mexico, but it, it's very grassy and very sharp puckery. Yeah. But tart. Very weird. So the first time I was like, what the hell is this? I don't like this, but um, that oh. may be that I'm not really sure how to use it. I put it in, um, I made the recipe in Coke cans, IPA smoke recipe. Mm. And I loved it in there. And I don't think it would have been the same without it. Yeah. Well, I, I, when I first got it too, I, I don't think any of us even knew it was a tobacco. We just like, I got a list and it said pucker and I'm just like, okay, this is going in at two or to 3%. Let's go. And <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. That's where I got the grasshopper spit thing from. Yeah, yeah. but no, yeah. It, as an additive, it, it, that weird tobacco note works, uh, works, can work really well. So it is that like a thing people do sometimes, like a tart or sour tobacco? Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. mind sours. I've never even, yeah. 
I've never even tried that before. What's that like? <laughs> Try it instead of using bitter, bitter wizard the next time you're you're reaching for bitter wizard in a tobacco. Okay. So that's never happened to me before, but <laughs> well, you can fight sweet with it. And yeah, that's what I mean. You can fight sweet with it. If you don't want yeah. something too sweet, you can put that in there. It pairs really well with citrus. Okay. It's citrus, also would, do you think it, how would it play with like a cherry, like a tart cherry type of thing? I think that sounds like a good idea. I don't always get that same type of tartness though. Like that I would think yeah. of when I want a tart cherry. Well, this I'm is thinking, very much tart cherry, I'm thinking tart. Tart. Capella's new yeah. tart. Yeah, this okay, is very yeah, much candy tart. Yeah, but not at the same time I wouldn't put it like Capella's tart cherry. I would I would say it's a different type of tart than that. Okay. Because it, it's mostly because of that like white grassiness to it. Mm. That just doesn't doesn't make it seem as overly candied like the candy tart cherry is because like the, you know, the the capella tart cherry to me is almost like sour skittles type tart or like a powder tart and this to me isn't that gotcha it's not yeah. powdery there's not a powdery texture to it that's for sure yeah neither no neither of them are powdery i just that that's like the first thing i could think of when i tasted that yeah so we've got sweet cigarette as a tobacco sweetener and pucker as a tobacco tartener. Um, <laughs> and don't sleep sleep on sweet cigarette. I I unabashedly actually love it. No, it's actually it's actually wonderful. Yeah. It's actually a wonderful sweet cigarette as a it's tobacco really sweetener. Good. It is. Does it have any ashiness to it, or uh, what's it all about? <laughs> you um, know, not that you would notice really. Okay. I mean, I, I did single flavor test it at like 2.5%. And I'm just like, this is super sweet for tobacco. And I never got like an ash or a cigarette or anything like that from it. It's just like, wow, this is super sweet for tobacco kind of thing. You know? What do you guys think about classic cigarette? You know, I have that and I've, I've used it a couple of times. It's, it's not bad. It's and it's not like it's not one of my favorites. It's a very good um, cigarette concentrate. It's just not, I, I don't know that I've ever mixed for cigarettes. I know some people do, and I might have 10 years ago, but I'm not. That's not something I'm interested in today. It's everything I wanted 555 to be. Oh, really? <laughs> there you go. It's, it to me, it's, it's pushing too ashy for me. Okay, so it's got a bit of ash in there. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not quite. It's not quite <laughs> there. Um, like the commercial cigarette is over the line. It's 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 inching up to the line. It's kind of like like have you ever been poor, so poor that you picked up a half a cigarette that somebody left and smoked it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can imagine just holding it in your mouth and not lighting it. Oh okay. Gotcha. Interesting. <laughs> Which is about as good as I think I've had for a vape cigarette. Yeah, it's pretty spot on for a vape cigarette, but it's not. I, I guess vaping cigarettes is just not my kind of. Like I was telling Emily, you, I want to walk into a tobacco shop and smell every fine tobacco they have, but yeah. I don't want to. You want to smell a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, well, well no. Okay. Smelling a what pack I, of cigarettes is nice. Yeah. Well, that's not the question. Okay. Yeah, no, that's smell, not no, the question at all. Man. It is still tobacco. Yeah. And yeah. A bunch of other. There's nothing like opening up a pack of cigarettes, oh, a fresh my. pack of cigarettes, and going. So you know what we absolutely did not discuss, and I don't know if y'all want to uh, sticks mix. No, I figured we finished uh, giving Flavor all this love, and then discuss some sticks mix. Okay. That we haven't even touched on, like Cavendish, which I know is one of Chiba's favorites. Yeah, baby. Cured uh, Kentucky Blend. We yeah, we haven't even talked yeah. about Kentucky Blend. Well, here. Cavendish, I love Basically. it. Does it does everything it says on the box? You know. Yeah. What's the description? Let me take a look. Because it is one of my favorites. It's uh, you know, when I would because I smoked a, a pipe for a while and pipe tobacco. And uh, my favorite was this like dark, spicy Cavendish blend. And uh, oh my gosh, this just captures it so well. 
It, it does. It does everything it says on the box. And the thing I like about it over something we'll talk about next week is um, um, in a where a Cavendish makes your fucking house smell like dirty feet, whereas this <laughs> does not. This will yeah. actually smell kind of pipish. But yeah, uh, it, does, it does really like the room note is very uh, like, a you know, like a pipe tobacco. And um, it's funny, I was just getting some BG down at the uh, the shop and, um, you know, I was telling the lady, I was like, oh, we're doing tobaccos. And she's like, ah, gross, I hate tobaccos. And I was like, I can see why, but not all of them are bad. And I had my uh, mix of Autumn Sunset, which is a uh, Cavendish, Alpine Strawberry, uh, Apple Filling, and Fig. And she's like, oh, my God, that smells so good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's tobacco. Right? Do you get some cherry notes from the Cavendish too? Um, you know, not that I recall. Uh, they might be there a little bit, but I mean, cherry plays very well with this. But um, I don't recall getting any cherry from it. Did you get any, uh, Dave? Or, or sorry. Yeah, it's been here. a long time since I tried it, but I could have sworn I, I remember it tasting a little bit like cherry. Of the smell, you can it smells like cherry, but I don't remember it having a taste like cherry. It, yeah, it's got cool. that aroma, but it doesn't have the taste. Um, and I guess it could have the hint, but not really a heavy taste of it um yeah if that makes any sense because cavendish this cavendish is definitely fruity but not fruit at all yeah like the sweetness is fruit yeah because it is pretty sweet it is it, it is plays very well with the spice notes and it's moist so yeah and it has just enough hint of like caramel in the background without being an ry4 you know yeah doesn't have any vanilla in it to me but yeah, yeah. Uh, this, but yeah, if you if you've never if you like tobaccos at all and you've never tried Flavora Cavendish, please please get some. It's how it's much? Very what's, good. What kind of concentration do you use on that? Uh, like one percent is plenty. Uh, you could go a little higher or lower than that. I honestly wouldn't take it over two, in my opinion. Yeah, it, anywhere up to two. I much past two, and it's just gonna get like um, muddled and funky. Yeah, one point like five is like boom, punching you. Right. With yeah, like but one's I, pretty mellow. Higher if you when it starts getting funky, it starts getting like weird off notes. Like yeah, you almost get spiced notes from it if you take it up too high. Things like yeah. that. Like it does just get weird. Yeah, and it is a little spicy, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's definitely one of their more concentrated. Well, well, they're all fairly concentrated with Flavora, but yeah. I learned my lesson with Flavora. Like when I first tried them, when they first hit the market, I thought they were terrible, but I was yeah. trying to make it like 4%. Oh, goodness. So I learned, you know, when you first get a Flavora flavor, try it at 1%. You know, you can always. Yeah, 1% is a pretty good baseline for Flavora. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of times, too, like this is what I do nowadays is I'll smell it first. And based on how potent that smell is, I can usually determine what's a good mixing percentage for it. Yeah. So if it's smelling pretty strong, like keep it pretty low. Yeah. But if it's not flooding your nostrils, you know, maybe take it up a bit. Yeah. Like the sweet and smoky tobacco, I didn't know what to mix it at. Uh, I smelled okay. it very strong, but. So, um, you wanted to do some more. We didn't talk about cured, but cured is the ultimate, ultimate staple. I was gonna say we haven't even we. There's still, there's still it's, Virginia. There's still Kentucky. There's still cured. I don't think we touched Turkish. Oriental. Okay, no, so so oriental. cured is cured is the perfect tobacco for everybody. It's not a burly. Yeah. It's not a Virginia. It's not acrid. It's not ashy. It's not too earthy. It's really versatile. Fucking tobacco, you know, and it's yeah. it's really good, man. Really I mean, is. if it had a sharp note to it at all, or was at all slightly grassy, then it could be a perfect cured Virginia but it doesn't. It's just tobacco, and it's amazing. I love it for that. I mean, I don't think I would use it as the only tobacco in a recipe, but to fill out any of the other tobaccos yeah. I, almost every time because it's just so perfect for that. Yeah. I put it in that banana tobacco that I made because um, the sweet and smoky is a little wet to me, and the cure yeah. helped dry it up a little bit. Yep. I can see that. So... It's perfect. Um, anybody got anything else to add to it? 
Uh, no, it's perfect. Uh, That's about it. It's, I would it's, say, very, it's a little boring. It's boring. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say it's boring, but it is pretty what? generic. It's, mis- it's missionary thing. style tobacco, is what you're saying. <laughs> there you go, missionary style tobacco. Thank you. All <laughs> yeah. right. Perfect That's description. Still really good, but it's just missionary style. It's a perfect it can't filler be for all these tobaccos. <laughs> what? Because tobacco can't be boring. No, <laughs> tobacco is not allowed to be boring. I think people get into tobaccos because they're exciting, because there's yeah. so much nuance, right? Well, you know, like it's it's the the only other thing that comes close to having the amount of notes combined in the aroma to tobacco is something like vanilla, you know, where you can easily have 200 yeah. notes in a vanilla extract, you know. Mm-hmm. In just a leaf of tobacco, you can have that many notes. And there's not many other things in the world. Like even some exotic coffees will have 20 notes in them. You know, yeah. like the super tasters can pick out 20. Whereas, you know, tobaccos, you're going to get an entire like range of dozens and dozens, you know, of, of volatile. So many aromatics yeah. in there, yeah. yeah. So sure. Kentucky Blend. Oh, cured. There needs to be a warning label on cured, though. Even though it's extremely versatile in in what you mix it with, you don't want to go too high. No, no. It will get soapy. Yeah, with any tobacco, you don't because they're going to get soapy or cat pissy or weird, you know. Yeah, I learned that the hard way that 3% cured is probably too much cured. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And they will, they will, if, if you go too high with tobaccos, they will turn you off of them you know pretty quick yeah so if you're starting out go go gently yeah okay i'm sorry kentucky i said it was i said it was all the ash i really ever needed but i didn't really we didn't really discuss it in depth and it's wet but in a good way yeah (laughs) kentucky blend is like the perfect like fresh off of the truck from the cigarette plant kind of tobacco for me it's got just enough ash in it it's a perfectly humidified cigarette kind of taste to me and i never use it alone because it's it's they think thinks as a perfect amount of ash but from my taste buds and all of the ta from my early years it's got too much ash so i i always tone it down with cured well it's always capable of providing me with enough ash how's that I yep. can always add more tobaccos and get more tobacco, but all, I can get all the ash I need just from putting some Kentucky blend in there. You know, like 1% Kentucky blend, 1.5% cured, 1% native, and now yeah. we've got something really good and with yeah. plenty of ash. Yeah, and there you go. You segued into native, native probably one of my top four from them. Yeah, just this because. One's definitely one of my faves. It's, so this uh, is like cured because it's so versatile, but it's not boring, right? Yeah, it's not boring. It's the perfect red bag of of Native American roll your own tobacco, man. Yeah, it reminds me of like an American spirit or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the red bag. Yeah. So they did a good job naming that one. They did. They did <laughs> yeah. an excellent job naming that one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than you know your native type of tobacco, right? The perfect name. Yeah, uh, it's great. It's flavorful. Um, it's not super dry, but it's still a little dry. Um, you know, kind of what you're looking for in that type of tobacco. But if you uh, add, you can also add more of the red or the red burley too to make it wetter. Yeah. 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 All right. So the Max next Davis year. told me today that he he has a hard time not putting one percent native in everything he mixes. <laughs> he is a native fool. No, yeah, he has told me that multiple times as well. He, he is not wrong, man. It's like the Frank's Red Hot, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's good. So yeah, Oriental and yeah. Turkish should probably be discussed together. Okay. Because they're both Oriental tobaccos. Yeah. And I find the two to be very, very similar with Turkish being a little more ac- acrid, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've used the uh, Oriental a bit, but I, I don't have a whole lot of experience with the Turkish. Um, They're both kind of like Arabian in that you need to use them appropriately and not have them just be something else in the mix. You kind of need to mix around both of them and make right. them kind of the star. Yeah, they're very distinct. 
yeah, they're, they are both very distinct and they're, they're to me very similar, but with Turkish being more Oriental than Oriental tobacco. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And Turkish tobacco is an Oriental. It's the small leaf Oriental tobacco. Turkish See, Arabian and, and Oriental are all pretty close to me, except that Arabian has a much stronger funkiness and spice yeah. note. Yeah. It's the biggest yeah. spice. The spice is really calmed down. It's there in the Oriental and Turkish, but it's much calmer and yes. and, uh, and and not as prominent. And then the Oriental is, uh, the Turkish is a little sharper, like more piquant, I think is how you want to say that. And the Oriental is a little bit like gentler and smoother. Yep. yep. And a little bit sweeter. Hmm. Yes. And a little bit sweeter too. So Oriental is like, sweet edge. like the... Uh, step one into this kind of this sort of uh, realm of tobaccos and then Turkish would be kicking it up a notch and then Arabian would be going overboard. Yeah. Eh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Really like that spice. Yeah. Red, red burly. Oh, how I love thee. <laughs> oh, oh God, I yes. use this one. <laughs> All yeah, right. right. You can get yeah. on board with it too, right, Em? That's right. What do you it's think? It's good. What? Awesome. Yeah. It's good for a tobacco. <laughs> yeah. I I mixed up uh I only use it for developing commercial crap and uh but I mixed up, I also mix up fears um oh crap what's it called? Abuela? Cardinal? Abuela? No, it's not, not card Abuela. Yes. Sorry, I forgot what it's called. Abuela the the yeah. Did you like Abuela? I did. I did at first. I really liked it. And then it changed. It does. It does. Abuela is one of those you need to you need to mix it and vape it within two weeks. Yeah. It's like a week and a half, it starts changing. And then two weeks, it doesn't get bad. It's just something different. And yeah, it just like the tobacco just like comes yeah. alive. <laughs> and there's there's I did fix it and was going to release it, but I sold it. So I didn't release it, but anyway. Jerk. I know, I know, I know. Let me guess there's an NDA, so you won't tell me where I can buy it. You are correct. (laughs) Damn it. He's too classy for that. Find somebody to anonymously tell me, hey. Someone to anonymously. I know you don't buy your own juice anymore, buy juice anymore, but maybe you should buy this one. Yeah. And right. in, interestingly enough, I had to use a different mango in it because the mango was the one fucking it up because the mango amplifies the tobacco after a while. Weird. Yeah. Because I just started playing around and I like mixed it without the mango and you mix it without the mango and it doesn't fucking change, you know? Yeah. Like it doesn't, the tobaccos don't go weird. Huh. So anyway. I think Red Burley is the one I could probably least least live without if you took away all my tobaccos. Yeah, that one's I, really good. Dude. I could not live without it. And it's actually their most accurate tobacco because oh, yeah. it really, really is Red Burley that you can only get around St. John's Parish in Louisiana. So real Red Burley is actually that nutty because it's pretty yes. nutty. It even and almost has like a chocolate peanut butter flavor. It's, you know, there's a couple of different manufacturers of Perique now, kind of like there's three different manufacturers of Latakia, mm. but um, there really yeah. is only one Latakia and it's from Syria and you can't get it anymore because, well, they're fucked up. But you mean um, American Spirit doesn't own all of Perique? <laughs> <laughs> no, but St. John's, the, the, to the tobacco place in St. John's was the, the creator of Perique and they used a specific strain of, of small leaf red burley. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> so good, but it does and, fade. Yeah, does. it does. It's one of their most fading tobaccos. Yeah. So, I noticed that a little bit with it. And so, I actually, that was one of theirs back in the early days. And I tried it at 40%, 4%. Ooh. I'm like, oh my God, that's a mouthful of tobacco tasting peanut butter with cat piss. <laughs> <laughs> that 4% sounds like an awful lot of red burly. That's unnecessary. Keep yeah. it under two. Yeah. Under two, yeah. And, uh, and it, even then. 
Tatanka Ooh, is one that I love. But mm. yeah, Tatanka is another one of my favorites. You said and, something earlier that I didn't uh, I didn't argue with you, but you said something about it being wet. But I thought it was too dry for a chewing tobacco. Like it tastes like chewing really? tobacco, but it's too dry. I was like, maybe I put some lovage in here; it would fix it. Huh? Because it, it's it's wet tobacco. tasting to me. But it's maybe weird. that's because I get the because I chewed tobacco a lot. You know, that was one yeah. of my big things is chewing tobaccos and snuff. So, um, I mean, so you think it's I, on point as far as the moisture content? You know, and I don't know if it's triggering those taste receptors for me, you know, like mm-hmm. something because like, you know, people talk about, I'm so glad I was off cigarettes because I was a pack a day or I'm a half a pack a day or I smoked eight cigars a day or something. Mm-hmm. I smoked four cigars a day, a pack and a half to two packs, a can of Copenhagen, a half a pouch of chewing tobacco. Oh, I woke up, put a dip in my mouth and went outside to smoke a cigarette with Copenhagen in my mouth, <laughs> you know. And that's just the way I was for 30 years, you know? Yeah, man. You're basically running off nicotine at that point. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, like he, doesn't, he doesn't need food or water. He just give him some nicotine. <laughs> you know what? I, I would never weigh over 220 pounds when I used tobacco. So. Yeah, so yeah, that's similar. I was like 130 pounds. Yeah, yeah right. Like, yeah, nope. Yeah, and I'm six foot six, so two twenty for me is kind of slim. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> All yeah. right, slim. I think Virginia is the only one that we haven't mentioned. Virginia, I really like. I I think it's one of theirs that kind of missed the mark the most in the name, and I, I'm not so sure what else they would name it. But it's it's Virginia ish, but not Virginia. It's like uh, yeah. those. It's like how. Marlboro eventually started making cigarettes called Virginia Blend that wasn't really Virginia. Yeah. So what uh, what qualifies or what what are the you know characteristics of a Virginia Blend? Virginia tobacco is going to taste very blonde, very sweet, and very sharp. You know, people in the tobacco world talk about the burly bite where you have a burly heavy pipe mix and you start smoking it and it gives you that bite on your tongue from the heavy nicotine dose well virginia does that without the heavy nicotine boat okay boost, right it's not the nicotine in it biting your tongue it's the actual molecule the flavor of molecules burning or whatever but it's got a definite bite to it it's a very sharp sweet blonde tobacco and like fermented virginia's some fermented Virginias get really, really sweet because it's got so much sugar content in it to begin with. So I don't know anything about accuracy, but it does seem the flavor itself of our Virginia does seem pretty bright. It is. It is bright. It is bright. I will give it that. And that's what gives it its Virginia ish quality, but it kind of, and I don't know if it missed it because that's like, you know, the bulk of my tobaccos, like if I would go into a place that makes their own, I would want Virginia with a little bit of Latakia in it or Virginia with a little bit of Burley in it, you know, something like that. Yeah, you I, want that light and dark, that yin and yang. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, there, there it goes. So it might just be a thing for me, you know. But this is one, is this one that you would never use by itself? Yes, it is one that I would never use by itself. Like you could build a recipe around it, you know, but you're going to have to have some other tobacco in it. In my opinion, this just kind of like, you know, you find some people that can smoke just Virginia and I'm not one of them. It's just too bright and too acrid for me. I think, I think you could just use it, but it won't be nearly as good as if you didn't. Yeah, it won't be nearly as good as if you added some red burley to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or some native. Or some Kentucky blend or some native. Or, yeah. Or some, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I would just want to do Virginia and cured, though. That seems like it would be a little dry. Yeah. The Virginia is actually, you said real Virginia is kind of sweet. Sweet and, and sharp at the same time and bright. I've used that. Before. I don't find Flavora Virginia to be sweet. It's a slightly, but not very, not like as sweet as you'd expect. Okay. 
well that that's why like sometimes i'll add like that sweet cigarette like just a tiny amount just to make it sweeter yes that i could see neat that, that i could definitely see doing it would be a good combo i just don't think that virginia it's by itself has any more sweetness to it than vg has i mean just bright tobacco really bright tobacco a little bit sharp with some there's a little bit of spice to it too yeah yeah there's a little bit not as much as like the oriental or anything but i want that like darker deeper robust to i want that fear voice tobacco in there with it (laughs) the 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 combination is a nice contrast bright and dark connecticut shade yes virginia and connecticut shade are uh, is a, a hell of a duo and um a drop or up to 0.2 of Arabian and Virginia is very good. Virginia yeah. and Connecticut shade is why that abuela is so good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> on to you. <laughs> I mean, you could put Connecticut shade in any other tobacco and I would call it good. But that's that's my soft spot, basically. Yeah. Hmm. He likes coffee vapes. He likes Connecticut shade. I don't like coffee vapes. That's the problem. <laughs> Were you all about well, coffees? Connecticut shade I'm is all about coffee. coffee. I'm not there yet with coffee vapes. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. I'm uh, a coffee snob, which is why I don't like coffee vapes. Yeah, that may play a role in it. it may, that would make it hard. Mm-hmm. Like, it this is, isn't coffee. It's the greatest white whale for me, basically. <laughs> I'll go down with the ship. Um, well, Sticks Mix has some coffee. Is it any good? It It is. It is. It's coffee. The only coffees I've ever really liked are, are extracted coffees. Yeah. Jerry, you tried that? I have not tried that yet. Sounds like you need to. But I, I think they're also the only tobaccos that we haven't talked about. That's right. We got to talk about some sticks, man. That's that's all you guys. I haven't even tried one. Tell me which ones to buy. Um, so I've them. tried. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Well, I've only tried two. The uh, the A one. I want to say it was. Is that right? That it's the A one, I believe. Yeah, and the thing with the thing with them is they can't be bad, man. I mean, like, yeah. you've. I did a considerable amount of natural extracts on my own and it's just really hard to make a bad one. You know, you've got to get really (laughs) shitty tobacco. Um, They're all, I mean, they all come out pretty good and it's not that, you know, he picks something easy to be good at because um, you can make a net and it be fantastic. You will not like re-wicking every one mil. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's the, the, the thing with uh, like there's a website naturally extracted tobacco.com and clay, the owner of that, he sells concentrates as well. Mm-hmm. And the problem with his stuff is that literally like it just changes every two mil. You've got to re wick and yeah, you know, and it's not like you can burn your coals off more than once or twice either because the natural sugars just cake up, you know? Right. So, he picked something that's easy to be good at, but he made it good as well because unlike a lot of nets out there, Sticks Mix is still gunky. It's a net, right? But it's not like rewick not every so two bad. mils and change your coals ever six. I mean, know? even most of the Flavora tobaccos are fairly gunk. I'm not going to call them gunky flavors, but they're gunky in relation to flavors that are perfectly clean. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Mix it all. yeah. All of them, I think. Maybe some of the lighter ones like Virginia might be not be so gunky or some of the ones that are more potent that you only use at like a quarter of a percent or whatever. But the really good ones like Red Burley, that'll gunk your shit right up. Yeah, yeah it absolutely yeah, I, will. I, I did not, notice... Uh, not as fast as a net, I'd assume. No. Yeah, well, I, I did notice with the uh, the sticks mixes that um, the flavor wasn't quite as bold or punchy as I might have expected, but I did like that it was a little lighter because it burned cleaner. I felt. So which ones do I want to get to mix with? I know they might taste good by themselves, um, but it's been a while since I mixed them, but I had the uh, Cavendish and the, uh, the A1 and those were both pretty good. I did like the Cavendish quite a bit. Um, you know, obviously it's a little darker and more of like a specialty type of thing that I would make just for myself. 
Um, but, I've heard uh, good things about the Honduran. Yeah, have you tried that one, Pierre? Yeah, I've tried. I think all of them at this point. The Honduran is is really good. It's it's very much a cigar. Um, a plus blend is really good. Um, aged Burley is really really good but i like burley's and aged burley is actually one of the ones of his that is slightly more gunky than the others for me um i don't know if everybody's gonna have that yeah that experience and i can't remember what the others were because he only sent me he sent me 15 he only he did was kind enough to send me some testers and they were all 15 mil and i ran out of a bunch of them and i'm I'm kind of weird with nets and it's like, not like I'm putting his product down any at all, but I started vaping to get away from tobacco mm -hmm. and I did my own nets because tobacco flavorings in 2008, nine, 10, 11, 12 sucked ass, man. <laughs> right. You were not going to get an accurate tobacco without some measure of cat piss without getting a net, you know, yeah. you just weren't. And I wanted that accurate tobacco flavor flavor to keep me off of smoking or chewing. And so I did nets and then I kind of met Flavora and Anawara and quit doing nets. So, yeah, that was kind of the, the thing with me. And like I said, I did enjoy his product quite a bit. Um, but, you know, having things like, like Flavora with such good tobaccos, uh, it was, you know, hard for me to be compelled to, to use. His. And it's not like I'm saying that I think nets are bad for you in any way, shape or form. It's, you're not burning it. You're not, I mean, if you're dry hitting a bunch, you know, might, you might get some carcinogens, but not at the level of, you know, actually burning a pile of leaves in your mouth. But, um, I just wanted to get away from tobacco and I did, you know, I mean, yeah. His, his products are great. They're not something I'm going to go buy, you know, but they are, they are good. And I think they should be mentioned because they are an American, you know, vaping product. So. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, it's one of those like specialty things for me where I'm like, you know what? I feel like having a freaking tasty ass tobacco vape. I'm going to pick up my sticks mix, whip something up, even just solo, like just solo. They're just good by themselves. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I do still vape a net of my own and i i have uh one k fun light of it a month yeah. <laughs> and they are some and you can't i can't get them anymore because it's a friend of mine who was syrian who used to send me these syrian cigars and they're a spiced eastern cigar mm. and i made a net with them and they were just phenomenal yeah nice man very cool um let's see i did did you guys want to talk about sticks some more? I wanted to cover uh, the rest of my Delosi real, real quick. We well, can. he's got some teas and tobaccos. I mean, some teas and coffee, and they're they're really good too. They're really good too. Cool. Yeah, I bet that coffee would be good. Is it better than like anything you've tried for coffee? I uh, know because I've had other net coffees and made my own net coffees. And it's like, I don't want a bunch of people to go out and make your own net coffees because um, contrary to like what a lot of people, I don't think you're going to die, but if you use any kind of heat in coffee, if you notice you make a pot of coffee, right? If you got your water too hot, like most commercial coffee makers do, you get that oil layer on the top. You do not want to inhale that oil layer, right? So if you're using any kind of heat in your extraction process, you can bring that oil over. You do not want to vape that oil. You do not want yeah. that pneumonia. But you do want to drink it. Yes, you do want to drink that oil. Yes. And that's that's ultimately why I think I will never find my true love of coffee vapes. A lot of, there's a lot of fun in those, like the fatty acids that can boil up on top. <laughs> what, I, what I guess I am curious is what, what would you guys say would be like a list of 
your favorites or like a basic list of essentials? Um, for tobaccos? Or at least for the Americans that we've covered, I guess. Right, right, right. Try to go through, I think Chemical Burn Victim had a list of 77 at some point. <laughs> Honestly, for me, I think uh, RY4 Double by TFA, just because it's such a common flavoring. And, uh, you know, if you're mixing up people's recipes, that's going to be one that pops up quite a bit. And it's pretty good. Um, uh, Cavendish by Flavora for me. Uh, Red Burley and Native Tobacco, I would say, would be my, my top four. Did um, I have to pick four? No, I was I'd like I, I'm just I'm just thinking I have four. I was just curious if you guys had like a set you just recommend that'd be easy to get someone into. I guess let yeah. fear go next. <laughs> um, if, if you just wanted like something easy that could make you fall in love with tobaccos vaping because you know you love tobacco except that it killed you, and if. <laughs> I was going to live on an island the rest of my life with only one person. It would be Brandon and his never ending supply of Flavora <laughs> tobacco. And right. I would sing to him all day long and all night long. But, <laughs> um, basically Flavora tobaccos. I, I don't think you can go wrong with them and RY4 double and Holy Grail RY4. And that's it from the American ones. Oh, that's right. All right. Holy grail. Yeah. My, mine was going to be like native tobacco, Connecticut shade, Kentucky blend cured tobacco, red burley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flavora. It's all Flavora, but like, ser like seriously, if you want to get interested in tobaccos, those five are all fantastic. And you can, you can do so much with just those five flavors. That's for true. Well, let's see. Um, Holy Holy Grail is the only one I need that's not from Flavora. Yeah. As far as American tobaccos go, the sweet and smoky tobacco, I'm gonna I'm gonna need this now. I'm gonna have to go ahead and order. Yeah, it. that's that one. I, you know, I was forgetting about that one. It was so good. Like I said, it's the only one that has that smoky flavor, and um, Black Fire is almost dead to me now because of that. Um. Let me see. I can do without the cigarettes. Got to have cured. Got to have Kentucky blend. Got to have native. Got to have red burley. And that's about it, probably, for the absolutely must-haves. So I'm the only one jumping on that Cavendish train, huh? <laughs> Cavendish is, is all you as far as absolutely got to have it. Not that I don't love it, but... Yeah, yeah I think if I were to redo that, I, I probably wouldn't so you have to have Connecticut shade either, mm. but it, it's a very it, it's it's really good. Yeah, Connecticut shade in Virginia for me would be a close to putting on that list. Really close. Yeah. Right on. Um, well, let me brush over the rest of my Delosi real quick here. Um, just got a couple of them. So Trenton. Uh, does that name mean anything to you, Fear, when you hear a Trenton tobacco? No. Okay. No, it doesn't. Uh, this one was sweet, dry. It was light on flavor, slightly woody, uh, not much tobacco. Um, and then there was Essex. Uh, does that one mean anything, do you think, uh, Fear? Because I've never heard of an Essex tobacco. Essex tobacco. Um, usually tobaccos with um, English town names in them. Mm -hmm. Essex is, of course, I mean, there's Essex in other countries as well. But Essex usually, usually the English type ones, you know, lend back to some kind of um, Lataka-ish pipe. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, this one was... Um, it was smooth and mild. It was uh, lightly tobacco. It wasn't like super flavorful. Um, so it, it kind of left me wanting a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Their beech wood uh, was pretty good. It was woody. It was still mellow. Like a lot of these are actually surprisingly mellow for tobaccos, uh, which I found interesting. Uh, the burley was also pretty great. Um, not quite as good as Flavora's red burley, but up there surprisingly. Uh, I think the one thing that uh 
kind of was off about it was it was kind of sweet. Um, but other than that, it was bold, it was flavorful, good, good uh, burly tobacco. Uh, their cigarette, I thought, was pretty interesting because it was sweet and it had like a little bit of a maple note to it. Uh, so that was pretty, pretty interesting, I thought. Uh, and then the last one was their Cuban cigar, uh, which was drier than a lot of their other tobaccos, uh, which makes sense. And uh, it was more of a cigar than the other ones, but uh, it wasn't as flavorful as I would imagine a, a Cuban cigar would be. And I've had one of those before, and that was very flavorful and very bold. You know, it was... It was <laughs> he's smacking I you actually, in the face. I actually have 12 Cubans in my humidor. Yeah, and, and that's I'm, I'm accurate in that statement, right? They're very bold and flavorful. And, oh, very, very much, yes. Yeah, so that one was a bit of a letdown as far as, uh, you know, smacking me in the face with flavor, but it was still okay. Um, but, yeah, so I think that covers it for my uh, the rest of my Delosi flavors. They sound like a, they're probably – I'd be – I might go buy some. Yeah, so, I might have to get some of those too. Yeah, out of the Delosi, I would recommend um, the Burley was good. The uh, Decang, I actually really like the Decang. Uh, SX is pretty good, but a little mild. And that's smooth, actually. That's smooth. Um, <clears throat> round out any of these really well. Well, Decang is a very specific flavor of, of pre-filled Cardo yeah. back in <laughs> like 2007, 2008. You know, mm -hmm. they were, they. I think they claimed to be like the first e-juice manufacturer and they might well be but there were i mean there were a couple at the top i don't know that i was cutting edge on vaping but i yeah. was very early but it is a very specific asian tobacco flavor and i don't think it's an actual tobacco it's just decaying you know yeah. it's a brand name okay. yeah but it was good the trenton the trenton tobacco you said trenton yeah Trenton, I just think that was a uh, sports-oriented wilderness party-style cigarette launched in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, interesting. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Sorry, that's just going to be my fact of the day. <laughs> how, how do you have a sports-oriented cigarette? Wilderness party. <laughs> wilderness party, sports or That's a new... That's so fucking New Jersey, man. I mean, that is so fucking New Jersey. Well, no, this this was for the Canadian classics for the Alberta tobacco, but still, just like that 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 set of words together. All right, I'm I'm on board for whatever it is. Yeah. Right on. Well, did we have any other tobaccos or wacky tobaccos? Not until next week when we have another two-hour special. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> probably end up going as long as next week we're doing uh, is it europe or asia next week we're doing europe which is like mostly it's going to be an in a wear love fest like this week's for a love fest and but there's also flavor art there's jungle flavors there's euro flavors there's german flavors although i don't think they have any good ones there's quite a few <laughs> are you counting baker's flavors Baker's flavors. Oh, that's right. Okay. You know what? Baker's flavors were such a pain in the ass to get way, but way, way back when that there were a bunch of outstanding ones, but they're just not worth the fucking trouble, man. I mean, it's quite a hassle to get a hold of them. If you yes. want a snuff, if you want a snuff box flavor, though, they have a great one. They do. They do. They do actually. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So there, there's, there's your warning for next week. <laughs> All right. Well, just a fun fact of the day: ninety percent of my messages on all the flavors are so. I watched your noted episode <laughs> last year. <laughs> like my noted? No, no. It was yours. It was yours. yours. You can own it. You, you should own it. <laughs> I mean, it basically, is all you, man. You're such a wealth of information on tobaccos, like. I remember before the show, I was like, oh, man, I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask Fear to help me out. <laughs> so it was so good to have you on, man. You too, Jerry, man. Thank you, Jerry. Fear, we'll see you next week. Yep. Am I on the one after that or no? Didn't you say you couldn't make it the one after that? That would be the 25th. 
I don't remember. I don't know that I, ha- I mean, if y'all need me, I'll do it. If, uh, if you don't, I mean, yes, yes. We would love for you to come back. Otherwise it's just going to be us and Matt. So. Okay. Yeah. I will come back on that one. Too. Oh, bless you. All right. Good times. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. All okay. right. Well, it's been fun guys, man. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. See y'all next week. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Peace out.